Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've had a great week. Hope your family have had a great week. Hope you are looking forward to another great week ahead of you. Today we're going to be doing a cooking video. I really wanted to try some smoked mackerel that I found in the shops this weekend. I couldn't find any recipe that I really wanted to try so I thought hey let me give it a try. Let me just do something that I really want to eat and um, share this recipe with you guys. I'm just going to get started. Into my saucepan I'm going to put about a two, tea, two tablespoons of um, olive oil. I like cooking with olive oil. It's supposed to be healthier. When I'm not using olive oil, I like to try some of that rapeseed oil. But yeah, olive oil it is. I'm just going to let that heat up for about a minute. And once it's heated, I'm going to go in with some onions. You can see that. And some peppers, sweet peppers and carrots. That oil looks about right right now. I think I had the stove up too high so I've just put that down a little bit. Just putting in my onions. Get all my onions in there. And I can put my sweet peppers and carrots in at the same time. Yeah, I hope you guys have had a good week. The weather's getting kind of cold here, yeah, you guys. It's, it's kind of scary how fast it changed. It's so cold. Anyways, I'm just going to put in some dried thyme. It's like a bit of thyme. And I'm also going to put in some mixed herbs. Just about a half a teaspoon of each. We're going to build some flavors into this. We don't want a bland lentil stew here. This recipe is something totally I've just made up in my, my head. I'm going to put in about a maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. And again, about a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix that in. Okay, that's doing quite well. That looks about right. Started to caramelize on the sides there. So what I'm going to do now, I've got three bay leaves. Just going to pop them in because I'm now going to start to build up a bit of stock. And I've also got a tin of tomatoes some tomatoes but I've just chopped them off a bit. Yep, got my tomatoes in. I'm gonna put in one chicken stock cube. You can use vegetable stock cube, make this um, vegetarian or vegan if you wanted to. Just give that a stir. Have everything combine. 
like a bit of spice so I'm just going to put some black pepper <laughs> and I'm going to also put a little bit of hot sauce Ooh, maybe about a half a teaspoon if you don't like your spice if you don't like things really spicy then just leave that bit out but I think it just all adds to the flavor still got some chunk, chunks of that plum and tomato so I'm just breaking them up a bit and now I'm going to put in my lentils. My lentils have been washed. Just putting in my lentils. Try to get some <laughs> these in without spilling it all over. Yep. those lentils are just gonna thicken up absorb all of that nice flavor that we've built into this and it's gonna be really good it's gonna be really great you guys so I'm just gonna cover my saucepan and I'm just gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes I'm gonna check after five minutes just to make sure it's not catching at the bottom um, and making sure that I don't need to add any water and I'm gonna come back and show you what this looks like after 10 minutes and then we're gonna go to the next stop which is the smoked haddock okay okay you guys it's been 15 minutes now actually so I'm just gonna show you what this looks like after 15 minutes it's nice and thick and I've checked my lentils are fully cooked I did have to add in less than a half um, sorry a quarter of a cup of water just to sort of give it a bit more moisture to make sure it didn't sort of stick at the bottom so what I'm gonna do now is transfer this into like a frying pan saucepan because the next stage involves me adding the smoked haddock into it and this pan's not going to be big enough so I'm just going to transfer this and I'll be right back so now I've transferred this into my saucepan I'm leaving my bay leaves in for now because I still want them to sort of increase that flavor a bit and I'm going to add in my my smoked haddock so I've just seasoned this with a bit of salt and pepper the stock itself the stew itself has in a lot of seasoning so I'm not going to add too much more and I'm just going to do this skin side down into my stew skin side down and I am going to cover this and let that cook for another I would say eight to ten minutes and I'll be back and show you what that looks like so you guys after about eight to ten minutes this is what you get that smoked haddock you really don't need a lot of time to cook that I've gone ahead and removed my um, bay leaves from the from the saucepan so that smoked haddock is just cooked to perfection so nice and tender it's flaking out I'm not gonna flake it all up because I want to just um, dish this up for you guys to see and I'm just gonna be eating this with um, a baked sweet potato and some broccoli so this is about half of a big sweet potato it was a really big sweet potato so split that into half and I am gonna put some cheese Whoop. sorry you guys I am just gonna top that with some cheese Ooh, look at that eh nice and cheesy 
some of that stew on top. Ooh, wish you guys were here. This is gonna taste so good. The lentils taste so good, you guys. I'm just gonna top that off with a bit of smoked haddock. There you have it. Hope you guys try this and hope you really like it. That is smoked haddock on a bed of lentil stew. And the base is just a, a simple um, baked sweet potato. You can use white rice if you wanted to. As a matter of fact, I think I will have some of these lentils left off over because it's way too much for um, um, meal today. So I think I can just have that with some white rice and that'll be fine as well with some vegetables. So you can make this vegetarian, that lentil, if you wanted to. So yeah, that's my dinner today. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you try it, please tell me how you got on. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.